Step number one, match with a girl on Tinder. Step number two, click on Riz. Step number three, copy and paste the message. One year ago, my girlfriend and I broke up, but I'm ready to date again. So I downloaded Tinder and starting to get matches was fun, but messaging on Tinder was hard and I often didn't get a reply. So I started taking a screenshot of the conversation, paste it into ChatGPT and ask it what to write. But since ChatGPT has a vision model, I knew it was possible to make an app like this. And the plan that I came up with in my head was relatively simple. Just use ChatGPT to write the code for me since I'm not a coder, create a simple UI so I could take screenshot of Tinder and hope for the best. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it right now, starting with step number one, get ChatGPT to write me some code. I wrote the prompt, I want to make a Python script that connects to the GPT vision model API found here. It needs to be able to take a screenshot of my screen and tell me what it sees. And then I copy the code, make a new file, and pasted my code in here. I saved it, wrote python3 rispot.py, and nothing happened because I didn't have my API key. So I went to the ChatGPT developer portal and created a new secret key and pasted it right in here. And I highly recommend that you copy and paste the same because I'm definitely not going to take this down after the release of this video. <laughs> I save the project again, click the up arrow and pi, but we got an error. So I just copied this code, went back to ChatGPT again and pasted the error code in here. It gave me some better code. I ran it again. So I told it that it was using the wrong model. Copy that, pasted it and try it again. Seems like the GPT-4 Vision 02 does not exist. So I'm just gonna copy paste the entire document here into ChatGPT and try it running it. And we got this. Thank God we have ChatGPT copy paste but little did i know that this was the actual answer that i was looking for it said that the image shows a screenshot of a code editor specifically visual studio code so it actually worked but what i needed to do next was a little bit harder which was to create a ui the reason for that is i wanted to take screenshots from other places that isn't python script so i went to ChatGPT, write some code for me to make a little ui that has one button i can click with the text riz on it and another box below where i get the answer that chat gives me back to me beautiful i've written all this code copy paste and it actually did exactly what i wanted what happens if i click on riz i'm sorry but i don't have access to real-time information to find out the weather for today bro i didn't ask you for weather use a search engine like google <laughs> seems like it didn't even use the image model thought so i think i'm gonna scold it a little bit post paste and try again now this analyze screen button pops up so i went to tinder and i see that somebody said hi 10 minutes ago and of course i have no idea how to respond so let's see if ChatGPT can analyze oh i'm clicking and i'm getting a the image appears to be a screenshot of a chat and profile section from a dating app or website you matched with blank on this date and the message from the match says hi <laughs> so i figured the next step was to actually get it to riz but i obviously have no idea how to riz so I went to the best place to find Riz advice. There we go. Show me the Riz. You seem kind of like a, a, a bit wacky. Would you rather, do you have OCD or would you rather have like ADD? It seems like you may have possibly both of them. No, I don't have either one. Well, which one would you choose? I wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't choose one. Now this is a woman, if you've, I don't think we have any shots of her standing up, but she has large enough breasts that she gets approached all the time. <laughs> and she's probably used to being a total bitch to guys or just turning and walking away if she doesn't like their approach. <laughs> <What? laughs> mm-hmm, we're learning. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Can I get your number? No? Can I get your hey, can I get your number? I'm a boyfriend. Can I get your number? Um, I have a boyfriend. Can I get your number? I'm lesbian. Can I get your number? Can, hey, can I get your number? I actually all have one. Can I get all? <laughs> all right, we're learning something. Fucking sucks the soul out of them by trying these pickup lines. Excuse me. Are you a typewriter? Hmm? Are you a typewriter? No. Because you're just my type. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you a typewriter? No. Because you're just my type. <laughs> <laughs> He's just this miasma of cringe. <laughs>
I just think I haven't gone deep enough. And now that my research was done, I knew exactly what I could put in this text bar to make sure that we get a good opener. And now that we know what cringe Riz is, let's try to make a text prompt here that's even more cringe. I can't believe that people still have meetings without an AI assistant. The average employee spends anywhere from three to five hours per week in a meeting. If they would use TLDV, it connects directly to Google Meet, Teams, or Zoom. So you can see the exact bullet points of everything they talked about. But even better, you can ask TLDV to summarize main meeting ideas, create a list of next steps and action items, or anything you want. Like what are the goals for each participant? And we can ask directly. And as you can see, it brought up all these timestamps of all my participants' goals. And if I want to share that to my team, I can click on this, create a clip. That's fantastic. Select the duration of the clip I want, save the clip and copy the link so anybody can see. But what if you had a meeting two weeks ago that you kind of remember, but you're not so sure? You can search through all of your meetings. Like if we say goal, for example, but what if you have a lot of meetings? You just go to the AI reports and here you have a create a list of next steps or action items from these conversations that you can toggle on once a month and you can easily integrate with Slack or HubSpot or Salesforce. So your meetings become way more efficient. So get TLDV for your next meeting by clicking the link in the description down below. Thanks to TLDV for sponsoring this section of the video. And now that my research was done, I knew exactly what I could put in this text bar to make sure that we get a good opener. And now that we know what cringe Riz is, let's try to make a text prompt here that's even more cringe. So I wrote this really long system prompt. Don't roast me in the comments. Copy, paste. But when I ran this, we still had the analyze screen button. <laughs> you know, we need to riz. There we go. Much better. Let's see if it works. I'm going to click right now. Open examples. Hey, name. What's your go to karaoke song? <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you have any secret talents I should know about? Hey, that's actually not that bad. You look like someone who's got a great story from an adventure. Am I right? Hey, that's actually not that cringe. Let's go to one of the other matches we got. Because we're getting screenshots, we can also pick the best image that maybe has some unique thing that we can talk about. I'm going to blur all of this, but she's in a sort of ballroom or castle type building. I'm going to click on the Riz again. Let's Riz. Hey, name, are you secretly a ballroom dancer or did you just find the perfect spot for a dramatic exit? Okay. Two. Wow, that room looks like it's straight out of a fairy tale are you trying to whisk me away to a ball hey name with a grand setting like that is there a plot twist waiting to happen not great so these were all openers but what happens if we're in the middle of a conversation so basically the last of a conversation is what brings you to Chiang Mai how long you've been in for and then she says eight day I'm just about to explore Asia but Chiang Mai a wonderful place what about you and Riz? So it's basically not answering her question. It's basically Chiang Mai is pretty awesome. What's been the highlight of your trip so far? Pretty basic. Exploring Asia sounds amazing. Have you discovered any hidden gems you recommend? That one is a little bit better. I'm curious about your budget travel tips. Got any secret hacks? This one is definitely not good enough. The positive is simple life can be the best life. What's been your favorite simpler pleasure in thailand yeah Chiang Mai seems like a cozy spot any spontaneous plans for the weekend if you could take one thing from thailand back home what would it be chat gpt why are you so cringe i think i need to change out the master prompt here so i changed it this girl said do you overpack or are you good with just a carry on let's see i'm a master at packing light what's your secret for fitting everything in a carry on okay that could be funny i pack just the essentials what's the one thing that you can't travel without uh, that's a little boring carry on all the way ever had to do laundry mid trip because of packing too light yeah maybe not and then a flirty follow-up. Sounds like we need to go on an adventure to put our packing skills to the test. Ooh, that's not bad. Maybe you can give me a packing tutorial over coffee sometime. Yeah, I bet you could pack a lot of fun moments into a trip with me. <laughs> Damn. That one is actually Riz. 
with a winky face at the end? Come on, ChatGPT. At least it's good at coming up with ideas on the spot so you can come up with your own. So I showed you how to code this from scratch using the GPT vision model to make this little bot right here that actually creates some pretty clever messages. But of course, that's not only what GPT vision can do. There's so much more. And if you have an idea, I highly encourage you to go out there, try to code with ChatGPT and make some of your own. And if you want to learn how to implement AI into your workflow to save you time, get help with AI tools, agents and automation, and hop on a call with me every Monday with others implementing AI, check out my community in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.